Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with a new release for you. Uh, we have 12 fabrics today, or this week, uh, for the 13th of June. We have a nice mix of bases again. Um, hopefully you'll love them all. I'm just going to jump straight back in. One of the uh, newer bases that we have is quickly becoming one of my favourites. So I have ordered in this rib knit, and we've shown you one before, which was the mint one. This base is not necessarily a winter base. In fact, I'm going to be ordering this in for summer as well. So this fabric is 180 GSM, so it's not heavy. It's sort of like a thick wintry knit rib. Um, it's quite light, but you can see the ribbing there. It's very soft, which is lovely. Um, and this is going to be something I'm going to have in for summer and for winter. So this is the wrong side, just so you can really see that ribbing. Um, and also that it is the lighter colour on the wrong side, which is something that you need to know um, depending on what you're going to make. If it's something that you can see, you know, something high-low or something like that, or even a cardigan, then you're likely to see that wrong side. So you want to know that it's that different colour. So this one is called Melody in Black. And isn't it adorable? I absolutely love it. And it's so soft to the touch. It's just beautiful. It's 96 poly, 4% spandex, 180 GSM, as I said. And it has some firm stretch, some good stretch, which is really good. And it's got some vertical, which opens up the options of what you can do with it. Sometimes if there's no vertical stretch, it can restrict you a little bit. So this one we have put with porcelain, Oops. which is a uh, modal, 250 modal, so a nice heavy one. And also Persian pink, which is a round modal. Isn't that pretty? And we've even been able to match the thread because it's black, so it's really easy. So number 4,000 for that one. Okay, so this is Melody in Black Rib Knit. All right, next one is another faux feather Harchi. It is so soft and gorgeous. So the faux feather, this one is navy. It is 99% poly, 1% spandex. Let me find the right way here. And 240 GSM. So it's got a good weight to it. That is not the right way. And this is where we go. I'm going to show you up close. Isn't it gorgeous? So it's kind of furry. Um... But they're kind of, it's kind of long, so hence the feather. It's just beautiful. So it's soft to the touch. It's really soft. But there are some feathers. This is the wrong side. So whilst this is really soft to the touch, it still might not be for you if you don't like anything else, anything like that. Um, I guess, you know, if you've got, if you have some issues with um, the sensory type of stuff, might not be for you. It is soft, it is not scratchy at all, but might need to be considered. So, this is the navy, it's actually 290 GSM, sorry, not 240. That's the next one I'm going to show you, not this one. So, 290 is a really good weight. So, it's got some nice stretch. Make a gorgeous jumper or cardigan or something, wouldn't it? There's your drape. It's just beautiful. And I've put it with three triple five. For your thread. So this is the navy faux feather. Okay, now next up we have some pink sparkle sweater knit. So what have we done so far? We've done a few of these. The black, the burgundy, mustard, and now this pink. And this pink has actually got a bit of grey going through it too. So it's not all pink. And you can just see those little sparkles in there. So they're not huge. It's not a really flashy sparkle. It's a really subtle sparkle. So this one's made up of 94% poly, 5% rayon and 1% lurex, which is your sparkle. That's the sparkle thread that runs through it. So it's got the nice rib texture to it. I know it looks see-through here, but I do have a jumper out of the burgundy version of this and it's not see-through at all. It's got some nice stretch. 
little bit of give there vertically. Nice drape. Uh, did I have a thread to match this one? No, I couldn't find a thread. And I don't have a coordinate for this one either. So we've got some coordinates today, but we are a little low on coordinates again. Isn't it funny? Some things we just can find heaps and some not so much. So that is the pink sparkle sweater knit. Now the next one is what I'm wearing, which is a double brush poly. It's called Warm Blooded. Um, it is nice and soft. I've made an Entice Me dress from Patton Emporium. I made the sleeveless version so that I could wear it um, when it gets a little bit warmer as well because anything in sleeves for me it gets a bit uncomfortable. But let me show you. So this is the knee length with boots, all set for winter. So comfortable this dress. I absolutely love it. It's a quick, easy sew. It's really comfortable to wear and it looks great in double brush poly. Uh, because there's some negative ease going on in this dress, the double brush poly is really good. If you stretch it out, it's got really great recovery. So it's not going to grow on you during the day, which makes it great for a more fitted garment. But it's really nice um, for a drapey garment too because it has really gorgeous drape. Really pretty. So it's brushed on both sides, so it's gorgeous and soft. It has really great stretch and recovery and recovery. Well, it does have great stretch and recovery, but I think what I meant to say was vertical stretch too and the drape again. So this one, um, I don't have a red to match. This is a real rusty red. Um, it's not a true red. It's not a true orange. Closer to rust than anything, I would think. Um, but I actually just used black thread. The only top stitching I had to do was on my hem and I just did the black zigzag down there and it worked out fine. So if all else fails, I think you can use black on this one. Okay, so that's warm blooded double brush poly. The next one is called order up, another double brush poly. This is a menu or a series of menus. It's a lot of menus. It's really cool. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So if you're bored or something, you can uh, read the menus as you're waiting. I think there's all sorts of different things on here to keep it interesting. It is just black and probably ivory more than white. Um, and double brushed again, so it's great for a, a heap of different garment types. Nice stretch, both ways, and drape. And we've matched this one with porcelain, which is a heavy modal. And we've just put it with thread number 1000. Isn't it cute? So Beth's on something up for us out of this one this week. Order up. And I think they're facing a few different ways, so it doesn't actually... It's not directional because some menus are facing up, some are facing down from here. So that makes it easier, doesn't it? All right, this next one is very pretty and very soft. It's gorgeous. This one's called um, Dappled in Light. Let's see. Let me show you. Let me turn that over. How sweet is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Such pretty colours. So, so soft and I can already feel it's going to be so, so stretchy. It's just beautiful. So generally a white double brush poly you can't see through, which is really good. Some whites can be, um, can be quite see-through, but brush poly is really good. Thank goodness, hey? So seafoam double brush poly is a really nice match for this one. And peach. Double brush poly again, coral, double brush poly, aqua, double brush poly, pink, double brushed and white. Could be any white, we've got several, this one is double brushed. We've got cotton spandex, we've got French terry, we've got bamboo, we've got tri-blend, um, there's probably more in there. 
but there's a few whites to choose from because it's so sweet. Dappled in light, double brush poly. And the last brush poly that I have for today is an animal print. And this one is just called Animal Print in Cream. And again, it is crazy, crazy soft. It's just beautiful. I remember when I first started to hear about double brush poly, but I hadn't felt any of it for myself. And everyone talked about how amazing it soft it was. And how can it possibly be that soft? And, you know, it's so hard to imagine what you're talking about. And then I felt double brush poly. Wow, that is so beautiful and soft and so lovely to wear. Really, really nice. Such a versatile fabric. Okay, animal print in cream. It's got some really pretty colours in there. I'll give you a close-up in a sec, but I'll just show you the stretch. It's got some really nice earthy type tones to it. So we put this one with ivory double brushed and we just used that same old thread 1000 again for this one okay animal print in cream double brushed now I have some faux alpacas to show you I've got a few faux alpacas this year which is so nice because they're kind of fuzzy and soft and brushed and cozy on the outside so they're really nice for winter they're not overly thick or heavy they are I think the 200 yeah the 200 GSM so they are 69 poly 24 rayon and 3 percent uh, percent percent spandex this one is called lavender sunset really cute so the file pack has got really nice stretch a little bit vertically and really nice drape which is beautiful for a jumper, a cardigan, tracksuit pants, or make them a bit dressier and call them joggers. Um, lots of nice things. And if it's really cold where you are, you could make yourself a long sleeve t-shirt out of it as a nice layering piece, um, just to add some warmth in there. So this one we put with Aqua, double brushed. And it looks like we didn't have a good um, purple to go with it because we put porcelain with it then and that's it. So that's a shame because it would look nice with a purple. We mustn't have had the right tone. Um, I do wonder if... Got, I think it's called a Dusty Mo French Terry. I actually can't see it. I'm trying to spot it over there. So perhaps it's sold out now. Um, I put it, I was just wondering if that would match with it. So I put it with thread number 1000. So this is Lavender Sunset Faux Alpaca. All right, another alpaca for you. This one's gorgeous. So this is Pastel Rainbow Animal Print Faux Alpaca. Isn't it gorgeous? Love that. Really sweet, really soft colours. Um, you know, it's an animal print, but it's kind of barely there, even though it's a rainbow of colours and it's animal print. So, again, really nice stretch. This has got the same composition as the last faux alpaca. And what do we put this one with? Tickle Me Pink, which is a rayon modal. Put that pink in there. Sienna, double brush poly, pick up those oranges, and sage, oh yeah, these colours just through here, just a little bit there, this is sage cotton spandex, uh, light blue, double brush poly, all these blues here, and camel, double brush poly. The yellows up the top there and some white as well is my white gone white lots that you can put with that one so soft so lovely okay so pastel rainbow animal faux alpaca a few words in that title isn't there okay I've got three more to show you and they are all French terry 
This first one is called Speckled in bright. It's a bright speckled. That one. That doesn't make you happy. I'm not sure what will. It's so bright and cheerful, isn't it? Lots of cute colours in there. I don't didn't put a thread with this one because it's tricky. It all really depends on where your hem is going to end as to what colour you want to go with it. So this one is 63 poly, 34 rayon, 3 spandex. And it's about 210 GSM. So our French terry is quite thin, but still quite cosy. Still gives some warmth. If you're a really cold climate, you're going to need more than this. Um, I mean, often here on Perth, in a, on a Perth day, I'd probably still put a, a, you know, a tank top or a t-shirt or something underneath if this is my jumper. Okay, so stretch. It's really nice stretch. It's um, not really spongy. It's got quite a firm stretch. Nothing there vertically. And there's your drape. So pretty. So this one we put with strawberry shortcake. That pink. There. And what else? Orange, rayon spandex. The orange. And aquamarine. I don't have a card for this one, so I just bought the whole piece. The aquamarine's pretty, isn't it? There we go. Aquamarine. Is that all of them? Yes. I've got to the bottom of the page and I've just tried to cram everything in, so now I'm having trouble reading my notes, which is a bit silly. Okay, so speckled, bright speckled French terry. This next one's very cute. It's called Butterfly Shimmer French Terry. So you might have seen the stars, the midnight sky that we have in French Terry, which is stars which are gold, bronze and silver. Well, this is the same except it's butterflies. How sweet is this? And it's the prettiest pink. Just gorgeous for kids or adults, this one. I would have no issue with wearing this, I have to say. So it's the same um, composition as the last one, 210 GSM. It's got some nice stretch. Nothing vertically again. And there's your drape. I did find a match, 1651, for this one. And we put it with the blush single brush poly as a coordinate. It's so pretty. Gorgeous little gorgeous little butterflies. So cute. Okay. Last one and it is your Lush Sunday special today. So it's a French cherry. It's called Serenity in Green. This one is 80% poly, 16% rayon, 4% spandex. Doesn't feel much different, except maybe a little bit stretchier than the other two that I've just showed you. But there's some really cute colours in this. You can coordinate this with some really nice stuff, I think. So, here's your stretch. Nothing vertically. And there's the drape. I couldn't find a good coordinate thread for the background colour, I'm afraid. But you might just have something at home. Oh, it's got really great bias stretch. Really nice. And this isn't particularly directional, so if you needed a bit more stretch, you could consider putting it on the bias. Of course, it uses more fabric, doesn't it, to do it that way. Um, sometimes if you need to do that to get it to work. All right, so we put this one with Pink Gin, which is a round modal, so that goes with those pink flowers there. And Olive Branch cotton spandex to go with those colours in the leaves. Some of these teals can be really hard to match, really tricky. Um, this is the aqua. That's not a bad match, is it? The aqua. This is the aqua double brush poly. So we don't have any pictures of this one, um, but if you like it, that's what they look like together. Okay, so Lush Sunday special means this one's going to be just a little bit cheaper for today, for Sunday only. Uh, so French Terry is something you've been wanting to try but you haven't gotten to yet. Now it's probably a good day to give it a go. 
So this is Serenity in Green French Cherry and today's Lush Sunday Special. Okay, we have our usual competitions running in Facebook. Um, what else do we have going on at the moment? We've got some sewing lessons happening and we've got some social sewing space and I know you all want weekends and after hours so we are working towards that. It is tricky um, but we are certainly looking into that. We've heard what you want um, so we're, we're trying to get it to work on this end. Um, that's all I think. I feel like we've got all sorts going on but I think that's it for the moment. Okay so I hope you like these new beads and I will see you next week with some more. Enjoy your week. Bye.